What's up guys, Lou here and welcome to build video number two in the Ultimate Gaming PC Project. If you guys are a fan of this series and you can't wait for the next video to come out, then make sure to leave a thumbs up down below just to let me know. In this video, we're going to be installing a couple of graphics cards as well as our sound card and the CPU. I've already installed the motherboard and the memory in video number one. Actually, if you want to know anything about the products used in this particular series, all the links of everything featured in this video are down in the description, so definitely check that out. So let's get started with the CPU. Now you don't necessarily need to install things in the order that I do. I've done so in order to make my life a little bit easier in filming the project. So we're using a 3770K from Intel. This is an unlocked Core i7 processor capable of amazing overclocks, a great value right now. To install it, you want to push down on this little pin, push it down and then to the side. That'll loosen up this top plate, which is hinged. You lift that up to reveal this plastic plate. This is just there for protection of the connection points where your CPU actually connects. So that's important. Remove it carefully. And then you'll expose all of these little pins here. And the next thing you want to do, of course, is get your CPU out. As you'll see, it has a couple of notched out portions as well as a little triangle in the bottom left corner. This is to help you align it. You definitely don't want to put it in the wrong way although it's difficult to do so because there are those notched out portions on the CPU that really only fit in one way so once you've got it in you want to put the plate back down and put it underneath the little screw on the front and then take the arm that you loosened up earlier and push it down there's gonna you're gonna need to apply some pressure here and then you just want to position it back underneath the holding clamp there and then you're good to go the CPU is installed now the next thing that you'd normally do here is install your heatsink and fan which is stock you know this comes with the CPU and there's nothing wrong with it but in our case we're going to be using a water cooling solution so I'm just going to put this to the side and store it for now we're not going to be using that particular solution so the next thing to do is to install a couple of graphics cards here we're looking of course at the mega powerful Asus DirectCU 2 Top Edition GTX 680. There are two of these in their gigantic triple slot cards that are going to install into these expansion bays at the lower portion of your motherboard. Now I've got these plates on the back of the chassis and they're going to be, need to be removed. In fact, I've got to remove all of them. That's how much expansion is about to take place in this particular video. So you can use either a Phillips screwdriver or a flathead to remove these screws. Um, they, they actually have a grip around them too. So once you loosen them a little bit, you can actually use your fingers just to untighten them with your thumbs thumb and finger. <laughs> Anyways, you loosen up these plates and then remove them completely and this will give you access to the ports which are on your expansion cards, your graphics card as well as your sound card. So as you can see here, I've gone ahead and removed them all and now it's time to just seat in the graphics card. And as I said earlier, this is a gigantic triple slot card. So, you know, it's heavy and you got to be careful with it. You want to make sure that the pins on the other side are going to line up and slide in, you know, nicely into the port that's receiving them. So you just want to be a little bit gentle. And once you feel like, you know, you're lined up correctly, then you just want to seat it in nice and easily and make sure that the holes are going to line up on the left hand side for your screws. You're going to want to go ahead and put the screws back in that you removed when you removed the plates, if that makes any sense. That should make sense. So I've gone, I've gone ahead and uh, tightened up the first graphics card and now we're going to move on to number two, which is identical. And you just want to follow the exact same procedure the second time around. These things are massive guys. They look awesome in the case actually. The next thing we'll do is install the sound card in a quick moment after this messaging from the sponsor of this show. You guys have got to check out Unbox Therapy's newest sponsor. They're called Jack Threads, and they've got the latest and greatest in menswear from brands like Nixon. They've got Reebok and New Era, and everything is well below retail price. In fact, in some cases, it's as much as 80% off retail, so you're going to save some serious cash if you join up. It's really, really simple to do. All you have to do is head over to jackthreads.com therapy. That acts as your invite, and it also helps out the show for every person that checks it out even though it's free to do it's a really really simple way to help the show now they've even added some iPhone 5 stuff that I think you guys are going to be really interested in uh, they got some skins for the back of your iPhone 5 to protect it a little bit but to keep that sleek design so you guys have to head over there and check it all out once again it's jackthreads.com slash therapy do the show a favor go take a peek all right guys thanks so we're back and we're going to be installing this Zonar Phoebus gaming sound card set from Asus if you're interested in more specifications on this or any of the items in this particular video links are down below so 
as you can tell here, it is a fairly large sound card as well, and it matches up really nice with the look and feel of the graphics card as well as the motherboard. We're going to install it in the top of the system in the final expansion port. We are using up every single expansion port in this particular build, but it has a really cool look to it, and they all match up really nicely, which is a positive thing. Now, you want to put the final screw back into the system to tighten up the sound card, just as you have on the two previous expansion cards, the graphics cards, they really install in the exact same manner. So here's what it looks like with all three installed. And as you can tell, there are power ports on each. The next thing we're going to have to do is wire these all up. The wiring build video is probably going to be the longest and most extensive because of how much work is involved. Anyway, guys, if you enjoy this series, make sure to leave a thumbs up down below as it does help out a bunch and it lets me know that you're loving this stuff as much as I am. And uh, otherwise, expect more build videos coming up shortly. I've got a couple more things to do, including the install of the SSDs, the hard drives, the optical drive, and some water cooling for that CPU. So those are some of the things you can expect in the upcoming UGPC video. All right, guys, thanks as always for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Later.